Hey there, today we're going to be looking at the latest collaboration between Black Sheep and Nike SB. Let's go and have a look. Right, let's go and have a look at these things. Today we're going to be looking at the latest collaboration between Nike SB and the Black Sheep Skate School. Skate store down in... Charlotte, North Carolina, so SJ reliably informs me behind there on sneaker cam. Let's hope it was North Carolina and not the other one. Or is it O Carolina? No, that's a terrible, <laughs> that's a terrible joke, terrible joke. Not, not doing that. If you're new to this channel and you don't want, know what we do, my name is Mr. B and we tend to do on this channel sneaker unboxings. We tend to do the cinematic kind of sneaker on foot things. And every Sunday we stream. That would be Sneaker Streaming Sundays. What time is that, SJ? Over there on Sneaker Cam. I think that is about 8 p.m. UK time on a Sunday. That would be 12 p.m. lunchtime-ish on the West Coast in the US. That's about 3 p.m. on the East Coast. But if you're in Tokyo, that's 5 a.m. on a Monday morning. Isn't that right, Tokyo Bar? Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll, we better get back to the unboxing. Not come from Nike. Okay, so we're going to speed this up about now. Okay. Just first of all, these came from Flat Spot. We managed to win a draw for these because these these were super limited in the UK anyway. SJ didn't win the draw for once. She's been too too lucky. Be lucky. So what we got here, everyone, we've got a Nike SB Dunk High Pro Quick Strike. They're a US 12, that's UK 11. Now I got that size. I usually get the 10 and a half in UK sizes, but because of my weird foot, I tend to go up a half size in the highs. And they are colorway, black, black, dark gray, and the code, everyone, is BQ6827001. And just in case you hadn't realized, it's a black and teal box. Okay, so woodcut paper. We always like a bit of woodcut paper. Oh, wow, okay. Boom. So, just gonna get these out. Get these out. Just, just feast your eyes. Feast your eyes, everyone. Camera two. It's gonna look weird on you because you're quite dark today, I can tell already. If I do that, yeah, maybe there, there. Anyway, you can see. There are Dunk High, SJ, you can see that, Dunk High. Black Sheep in Carolina, obviously these dropped around the 2019, actually let's get the other one because the NBA hang tag, NBA Nike SB, the hang tag is flapping all over the place. So we're gonna put that one to the side and let's pick up the other one. The first thing I'm gonna say, these have been laced as per always by Nike SB, like, like look how tight that is. That is ridiculous. Like, just <laughs> so tight. So we're going to just loosen them off because there's a lot to show on these. I want to actually get the laces out of there. So we're going to do that. Just pull in these laces out. Oh, my word. So tight. So they're a collaboration and between Nike SB and Black Sheep skate store in Carolina. They dropped around the 2019 NBA All-Star Game, which was actually held in Carolina. So we're going to just see the alternate laces are, they're a gray, a darkish gray, but a gray. So I'm going to put those back in the other one there. So yes, they, they dropped around the NBA All-Star Game. And it seems, certainly over the last few years, that when Nike drops anything for the All-Star Game, they tend to use this iridescent colored leather. We can see that there. Now, the game was in Carolina. Black Sheep went with a, a Hornets theme, because that is the, the name of the NBA team there. Isn't that right, SJ? There's a lot of detail on these shoes, a lot of detail, which is why we're going to have to spend a lot of time with SJ on sneaker cam. <laughs> right, we're going to undo that, because, as I said, there's lots of detail. They actually came, these came in a mag, like if you manage to get these in store, in Black Sheep, they came in this amazing box, which was meant to look like the, the hive that uh, a Hornet might produce. It was kind of awesome. It came with a mini basketball lace lock, uh, um, which was like a, this hunt, this sort of hexagon honey, honeycomb shape. I'm not gonna call it honeycomb because that's bees, wasps, a bit vicious, and Hornets even more vicious. Right, can I get the inner sole out? Yes. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the inner sole because the inner sole is magnificent. It's odd to say that an inner sole is magnificent, but they've really put a lot of detail into that. Let's flip that way. Like, look at that bad boy. It's good. There's a lot of detail there. Swoosh continues actually on the other one, but I'm not going to pull that out. It's, a, it's more or less the same. The first thing to call out is we've got this kind of elephant print across these elements here. Apparently is a nod to Michael Jordan, who is the owner or one of them. He's the major owner of the, the Charlotte Hornets. So we've got that. We've got also, in a, again, a further nod. Now, normally you wouldn't see this on the tongue, but we have got on the tongue. And I'm just going to loosen these off a little bit more so you can really see, you can really get the detail. Oh my word, this is crazy. It's crazy, right? Can we see that on the tongue there, SJ? You see this detail here? It's meant to be kind of a, it's following that, that honeycomb theme to continue with the Hornet theme. If we go to the swoosh, which is a black leather. It's a nice soft black leather, this. It's a really nice soft black leather. What they've put here, this stitched silver piece, that's meant to represent the stinger from a Hornet, which is kind of awesome. We've got the semi-translucent sole, which we'd expect on an All-Star Weekend shoe. It's just really, really nice. Like, just take a look. Spinning it round, spinning it round. On the tongue again, I didn't call this out earlier when I was talking to you about the tongue. We've also got the, the Black Sheep name as well. This is the second Nike SB Black Sheep collaboration that we've got. We've got the, also got the Wolf in Sheep's clothing from a couple of years ago which is an absolutely epic shoe. I don't know what it is with Black Sheep. They always come out with something amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's a really nice shoe. It goes really, really well. It just, I really like this iridescent leather that, that Nike sometimes pulls out. Sometimes they can go overboard. It's certainly gone overboard with some of the Jordans. Some of the, I'm not sure which Jordans, I think it's a Jordan 6. They just went absolutely nuts with it. Don't quote me on that, it could be something else. But we have got also a Jordan 1 that got shine from a couple of years ago, which was again dropped around the NBA All-Star Weekend in this color. And these shoes together, they look so similar, yet, yet different. It's interesting. These are a lot darker, aren't they, SJ? Mm -hmm. A lot, lot darker. I'm gonna try and put that there. Like maybe, in, actually camera two, if I pull this back here to my face, move over slightly whoa what, what have trust me i've not been drinking it's too early in the morning for that but i'm trying to show you the shine off here which you can see around the collar there you got that yeah that, that is kind of showing on the camera if we do that it might even be in focus there is something on the wings sj Are you ready for this the wings represent the wings and there's something else i want to call out as well the wings represent oh sorry mate i've just I've, the dog is right at my feet and I've just moved my foot ever so slightly and it's just touched his nose. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. <laughs> First of all, down here, we can see, if I put it in the light there on the wings, we've got a representation of wings. But the other thing that I wanted to call out, which is such a subtle detail, is if you have a look at the eyelets, these represent honeycomb, or not honeycomb, they represent the, the hexagonal type structure that a hornet might make. Just a really subtle detail on these eyelets that no one would have noticed. You just don't notice and then you're like, oh yeah, they're like totally different. Such a good shoe. I'm just gonna take a little peek at this one. I don't think there's anything different about it. These are going to look really good on foot, really good. I think it's really hard to show a dark shoe, certainly in the setup that we have. Uh, I know I need to sort out lighting. It's not perfect in here by any means. It's a nice shoe. SJ, do you like these? Yeah, it's a good dunk, isn't it? It's a good dunk. Huxley down there, you into these? You can't see that, but there's a little tail wag, a little tail wag. I think that's the dog's approval on the dunks. They get a five tail wags out of five do. And now he's just collapsed again, um, as is the way with the dog. So everyone, what do you think? Let, let me know in the comments. Do you like these? Did you pick them up? Like the usual crew, did you guys manage to pick these up? L let us know in the comments. Oh man, they look so good under the light. Just spinning it like that, that, that is so nice. I need to get another light in closer. Come on, light. It's not working. Oh, oh. I think sneaker cam's getting a bit jealous there. What, you want me to just move the shine in the light? Can you see that? Is it, is it working? 
it's really hard to explain what it looks like because from the angle that I'm looking at it right here, it looks really purpley. As soon as I flip it, I'm now getting blue. Like if I spin that round there, it's now looking blue to me. And we spin it round like that and hopefully you can see the difference. It's a really interesting colorway and they really put a lot of time and effort in thinking about this shoe. SJ's just pointed out, because obviously Nike have got the NBA license on the inside of the tongue, and we can see that there, we've got, like with the other um, NBA blazers and dunks we have, that, we've, that they've stuck the label in there as well. To be honest, I think they would have done these even if they didn't have that NBA collaboration. But I think it's just an, another extra little touch. And obviously, as I called out earlier, hang, hang tag there, these seem to be becoming on everything now. So we're kind of a waste of time. Um, oh, I didn't just say that. Right, so if you like these, let, let us know in the comments. Did you manage to pick them up? And of course to everyone, thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to join us on Sunday nights because it's a massive amount of fun hanging out with you guys. If you're on Instagram, we are Pint of Stuff. Hashtag your pictures, as SJ would say, with Pint of Stuff so that we can feature them on Sneaker Streaming Sundays. If you haven't subscribed, it's somewhere down there. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, everyone, because it does kind of work. And all I've got to say is, until the next video, I'll see you later. Hmm. Dog. Like, you do lie in the most awkward positions. You do. W would you like these? No, I don't want you getting involved with any bees or hornets. No, I don't. I don't want you getting involved. There's no need to be involved. Okay. Uh, check it out. Yeah? Is it all right? He just doesn't care. Right, we really are out of here.